officers were hit by a car. Hundreds of students skipped school this week to protest the Ferguson decision. Four officers were hit, and there are reports of students laughing and chanting, hit them again. Alicia Acuna following this story from our Denver newsroom. Alicia. Hi, John. Yes, and these four officers were on bicycles at the time of the accident, and one does remain in critical condition, according to the last update from DPD. Officer John Adsit, a nine-year veteran of the department, was escorting students from East High School in Denver, who staged a walkout on one of the city's busiest streets, Colfax Avenue. Witnesses say at one point, a car accelerated, went up onto the sidewalk, and hit the four DPD officers, dragging Officer Adsit behind. Denver police say the driver of that vehicle had a medical condition. The police union and others say some in the crowd cheered the union issuing a statement saying immediately after the horrible accident yesterday injuring four Denver police officers, several parties in the protesting group cheered and chanted, hit him again. These actions are not only reprehensible but quite possibly the most disturbing thing this association has ever heard. All right, let's stop the right there. Itself I don't think it's the most disturbing thing you've ever heard. I'm sure you've heard about, you know, dead kids in basements and stuff. But it is very disturbing that random people would then see random cops run over and cheer it. But that's just like our article up on Infowars.com where police department mocks Garner, who was choked to death, with hashtag we can't breathe tweet. Defensive police action backfires on Indianapolis Department, who has now deleted the tweet. You can see the tweet and, and the response. This is an us-against-them mentality, and it's now being cast as racially based because the Democratic Party wants this to be racially based. Is there profiling on black people in many cities? Probably. I mean, undoubtedly it goes on. There's profiling against skaters. There's profiling against hippies. There are certain groups that the police have been trained to basically be scared of or to think are criminal. Namely, it's people that aren't wearing suits and ties. You want to be left alone by the police, wear a sports jacket and, and drive a nice car. Is that discriminatory against poor people? I think so. But if you go to a job interview wearing a dirty T-shirt versus a sports jacket with a tie and, and, and you know, versus being polite, not being polite, just saying thank you, just opening doors for people will make you more successful because then other successful people will think you're higher quality. But see, a lot of poor folks today especially think it's cool to not be thankful and cool to be rude and, and cool to not dress nice. And that's been done by the MTV culture and social engineering to create a permanent giant swelling underclass. Or it's not cool to be successful. It's not cool to have a job. It's not cool to stay out of the system. It's cool to be in the system. That's when you're bonafide. Well, the system engineered it that way. Then they train the police you're the enemy. Then you act like the enemy. And it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's what I'm getting at. And I think it's equally disgusting to cheer people being run over or to cheer someone being choked to death. Even if Garner deserved it, which he clearly didn't, it would have been despicable to make fun of his death, begging for his life, saying, I can't breathe, while they had his arm pinned in a move where you can't roll over. And it's going to be killer cops, psychos that are going to cause a lot of innocent police to get killed in this country. Because when the Civil War really kicks off, which we've been predicting for a long time is their goal, it's going to be devastating. And I am not going to enjoy watching citizens and the police kill each other while the globalists sit offshore and laugh. Stay with us.